well, just arrived at my leg. Um, on route to the Isle of Skye, I'm going to get the ferry from here across to Armadale. Ferry is booked for 9.40, it's about 10 past 8, so I've got a bit of time, I'm going to jump out and shoot some B-roll footage at the moment. Uh, I'm heading to the Old Manor store, the plan is to do a wild camp at the top of the Old Manor store. Um, hopefully get a nice sunrise in the morning, we'll see how it goes. The weather's looking not too bad at the moment. Um, it's to be cloudy, patches of sunshine here and there today, um, cloudy tomorrow, and rain in the afternoon, so I'm going to get up quite sharp, hopefully get a catch a sunrise, fingers crossed, um, and then head back down the road. Really, really looking forward to this trip. I've uh, been waiting quite a while to get back to Sky. It's quite a bit away from where I stay um, in the, the Midlands, so. Yeah, really looking forward to this, cannot wait. We'll see how we get on. As it was a bit early to climb the Old Man of Store, I decided to stop off at the Kerrang and stretch my legs. The last time I was here was October, uh, the previous year, and I camped and got a spectacular sunrise. The weather conditions were the exact opposite of that. <laughs> it was rather cloudy, dull, not much light about at all. Um, so I wasn't really that, in, that inspired by anything at the Kerrang. It was still good to get out and stretch the legs, go walk about. Um, it really is a spectacular landscape, no matter what the weather is. But photography-wise, I wasn't really inspired by anything, so I left and went back to the old man of store, got on with the original plan. Calves in there. That's where we're going. Certainly getting steeper now. Oh, it's taking it slow. <laughs> I forgot to bring the straps for my... to attach this um, drone onto the bag so I'm having to carry it up, which is a pain in the back side. <clears throat> Not got much further to go now though. Another couple of hundred metres or so.
tent set up there. Absolute cracker of a location. If I zoom out a bit here, you'll see the old man store in the background there. Um, it's pretty windy up top there. Um, so I'm down here, pretty sheltered in this wee bit here. I'm going to get set up, get some meat, I'm absolutely starving. I've got a couple of rolls, a pot noodle, and a tin of beans and sausage to put on the rolls, which I cannot wait to get. I'm starving. <laughs> Coffee as well, and then we'll get out, get the camera back out, maybe you can find it. getting some pictures of the tent in the foreground and old man a store in the background. We'll see how they turn out. They looked alright in the camera, so looking forward to touching them up in post. Um, doesn't look like there's going to be any stars out, which I didn't expect anyway. Uh, it's still pretty cloudy. So I'm going to get an early night, I'm absolutely shattered. I've been on the go from 4am this morning, so I'll get to my bed. It's about half ten now. And I'll get up in the morning, fingers crossed we get a decent sunrise. Night night. Just heading back up to the summit. Which is up there. You can see it's quite musty. Sunrise or not, but I need to head up. Hope we are. We do. Let's see how we go on. Well, as you can tell, I like to do a lot of audio overdubs on my videos after the trip's finished. Uh, while I'm editing, I like to record my vocals back in. Um, so it's now two weeks after the trip and I'm sitting editing the video and I'm loaded with the cold. So I do apologise about the annoying sound of my voice, really nasally sounding. <laughs> well, as you can also tell from the video footage, I wasn't going to get a spectacular sunrise. I woke up and the place was thick with mist. Um, it was coming and going as it was getting lighter and lighter. It was breaking more and more, um, and I actually managed to capture a pretty spectacular shot where the mist was just clipping the top of the old manor store and the foreground um, was visible. I'd probably say this is my favourite image from the trip. Um, there's some great atmosphere captured in this image. The cloud just creates that atmosphere, the mist coming and going. When you're out camping in the hills um, or camping at a place like this where you're far away from civilization, especially in the Isle of Skye, um, it can be quite eerie when you're out yourself. Every time I look at the image, it just reminds me of that, which personally I think is great. Might not be the most appealing picture, but there is great atmosphere in it. As I keep saying, I never got the spectacular sunrise that I was hoping for, but not to be disheartened, I still had an absolutely amazing trip. Apart from photography and videography, I enjoy hill walking, climbing, camping, uh, I've just been generally been out in the outdoors, so all the boxes have been ticked on this trip. Maybe never got a portfolio image, but I've still came back with some nice images and memories of the trip. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the short video that's been put together. Uh, thanks again for watching. I'm going to go get a limb ship and try and get rid of this cold so I can get back out again <laughs> on another trip. Thanks again. Cheers.